Good afternoon everyone. Good afternoon. Welcome replay viewers. So, welcome in guys. I'll just bring the cat. I'm bringing up the, I'm bringing this up. It's like a candle, isn't it? <laughs> it's a candle lit dinner is our theme. So, hello Melanie. Good to see you. Welcome in everyone. Happy haps. Happy haps. Happy cooking Saturday. I don't know. I always say that. I always say that. Hello Anne. Good to see you. Welcome in everyone. How are we doing? So, welcome in. So, welcome to our cooking Saturday and our candlelit dinner. And I've started with the candle candlelight. So, I am going to pin this up. So, if somebody might want it. But actually, the reason why I put this light on, it's not because of the candlelit dinner. I completely forgot about it, actually, the, the light. Uh, it's because we've just had a thunderstorm and it's gone absolutely black <laughs> so i was thought should i put the light on or will it pass over and it's just passing over now oh actually it's 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 dying down a bit which is which is good so welcome in everyone um so today it is a candlelit dinner and we're going to be cooking lots of different recipes okay and my choice in fact we'll go through in fact you can see who's on is it going to work there we go that is our candlelit dinner, guys. This is who's coming live today. 10 o'clock, which is Eastern time right now on the East Coast, is me. We've got Anne Rush coming up after me at 11 o'clock. However, I do know there is something else happening at that time. So, you know, we, we are aware of that. Um, so um, hopefully, Anne, you can make that available on a replay. So instead of 12 o'clock, Jay, Jay Opera, He's going to come on at three o'clock today and you can also have your complimentary drinks then as well. And then we've got, and I should say what everyone's cooking, because it's not holding up. Brenda's on at one o'clock Eastern time. And then I'm going to be back on at four o'clock Eastern time with some games. We're going to be doing some anagram quest and some wordscapes and maybe a few trivia questions. And then Darby Jones is going to be on. So... No internet, says Melanie. No internet. What do you mean, Melanie? You all, you can all hear me, okay? So, there we are. You, you're out. You don't have the internet. You, you've you lost your internet, Melanie. That's not good. I know we were expecting thunderstorms across. So, so let me go through then what everyone's cooking today. So we did a draw of the food that we were going, that we were all cooking today as part of our candlelit dinner, okay? And um, so I got appetizers, that's what I'm going to be cooking for you today. We're going to be doing three appetizers. And then Brenda's doing the main di uh, sorry, Anne's doing a dessert. I'll try and do it in that order. Uh, we've got then Brenda doing the main. Okay, we've got then Gemma coming on. She's coming on and doing a soup. Okay, and then we have myself. So Jay then, who's doing, I can never pronounce this, horse de voix, horse de voix something like that uh, and then we have me coming on with the games and then lastly to finish Derby with a salad so we've got lots of recipes coming up for you today so yeah it's really bad I mean all of a sudden I've been actually out this morning and it's been nice and dry the sun was shining got a little bit warmer and then I got home and then just just five minutes before I come live the heavens opened and the, the rain came down. It was so heavy. We heard the thunder and the lightning. So, hello, Brenda. Good to see you. So, don't say the H. <laughs> I know which one you mean, right? So, yeah, I can't pronounce that one. Can't pronounce that one. The H. We'll just call it the H. J, you can say it later for us um, as well. So, yeah, appetizers followed by dessert. The H, a main dish, soup. And a salad that was the original order so so yeah if you want also this light if you want this light this is a light as well you can order the links down below so i'm going to pop this one to one side we're going to make a start and hopefully hopefully we won't need to um well i'll have to shall i put the light on i'm gonna have to put the light on guys but i'll flip you around so we're going to start by making a very popular sorry for this let me turn you around. I'm hopefully you're going to be able to see this all right. We're going to start. I won't be able to read the comments just yet. So we're going to start by making... Have we all heard of bruschetta? 
bruschetta. Is that how you pronounce it? So we're going to start with that. We're going to start by doing the filling first. So you're going to need six tomatoes. Okay. So we've got some nice tomatoes here. That's going to keep coming up, isn't it? So let me try and turn that effect off. Sorry, guys. I thought it'd be quite technical today. There we go. I think we're good. Yeah. So we're going to start with some tomatoes. And I've got some nice fresh, fresh basil or basil. So we will use all the tomatoes because that's what they're for. And this is going to be the mix to go on the top of our uh, toasted baguettes. So you can... These these are these appetizers that I'm making today. You could you could make these as a a little a little um, dish for if you've got friends coming round, or um, you know if you've maybe at Christmas time if you're stuck Fridays, or even like a, I was meant to be going to a party tonight, and I was going to use them. Uh, I'm going to use them for the party, so you can do these as little like party food. It's with appetizers. It can be tricky. To, to know what to make so i'm just cutting them these into strips first because it makes it easier to uh to cut and i use the dicer in just a second so okay so yeah we're going to cut them all up and then as i say i'm going to add some basil i hope we're all well by the way guys i hope we're all well Okay, I love tomatoes. Let me know if you've ever had, uh, I can't even pronounce it, bruschetta. <laughs> don't know why I'm putting an accent on. Okay, so I'm just cutting these, there we go. So now what we're gonna do, we're gonna just move that to one side, get the vegetable chopper. I like this vegetable chopper. I'm just gonna slice these up and hopefully it's gonna work. Ugh. This might not work very well. I might have to cut them up actually instead. Sometimes it works. I think it depends on how, you know, if the tomatoes have been in the fridge or not, or I don't know how some of them do it with the tomatoes. I might have to cut these up. Yeah, we'll cut them up instead. It was worth a go, worth a try. So let's cut these up. If something goes wrong, then just Just uh, do it manually by hand. Okay. So then we're going to pop these into our bowl. So we want them really small. Don't worry if you make a mess. Okay. I thought this was going to be quite an easy job, but we've got plenty of time. Plenty of time. Okay. And also as well, it's that time of year, you know, I've seen a lot of, I've seen a lot of blackberries out at the minute. But if you've got lots of tomatoes, they're coming out now, they're in season. Well, they're always in season, aren't they? But for us Brits, if you've been growing tomatoes, this will make a perfect recipe. So, and also I think it's quite a popular... It's a popular dish in obviously Italy and Spain. In fact, I think they have this for breakfast. If I'm, if I'm not, if I'm right there. So yeah, just cut it up. Stay with me, guys. It's, okay. They smell really nice. Who likes tomatoes? Who likes tomatoes? I mean, you could buy even a tin of tomatoes if you wanted to do it this way but I do like fresh I do like everything to be fresh so I should say yeah, thank you to Darby for this theme today so each month we do a different a different theme last month's was oh, remind me guys what last month's were I can't remember now but we do all sorts of different themes and it's really nice to try different recipes and so I'm just cutting these really small. As I said, this is just going to go on the top of of the uh, toasted baguettes. Okay, I'm just going to use my hand now. 
now they've got them to the right size. I actually wanted them quite chopped up. So yeah, if you the vegetable chopper does work. <laughs> it, it depends on how cold your tomatoes are, and uh, so yeah. So you want them really nice, nice and chopped up. Nearly there, guys. I thought to myself, I would be done really early doing these appetizers. But I think I should have enough time. So there we go, guys. There's our nice chopped tomatoes. What do we think? What do we think? Try and read the comments. So, Darby Lalo Darby. That's it, Mediterranean, yeah. Not crazy about the slimmest of the bigger ones, says Brenda. I hope everyone is enjoying the Saturday. Do you know what? I love these cooking Saturdays. And I know Melanie does as well, because she said it was a... Did you say it was a highlight of your month? And, you know, I agree. I agree. But I did have to apologise and say, you know, unfortunately, all this food that we cook does make us very hungry by the end of the cooking Saturday and especially when you're watching it on the replays as well. Just going to chop these ones a bit smaller. So we've got a nice bowl of chopped tomatoes here. Okay, so my hands are clean into the bowl. Right, so next thing then we're going to add to this, quick wash of my hands is we're going to add some fresh basil or basil. So a little tip for you. So this is fresh basil. Now a little tip is we're going to get the leaves. You want to get all your leaves together. So I saw on this video and you sort of going to roll them. If I can do this right. That's the right way to do it. I love the smell of fresh basil. We'll, we'll do them individually. So you're going to get your leaves and you're just going to roll them and then we're going to slice them into li little thin ribbons because the thinner you slice them then it's going to bring out all that flavour. So get yourself a, a sharp knife. We'll go with this one. And I think it's like this. We're just going to cut them into sort of strips. But then we're going to slice it again. Okay, so I'm just going to just do the chef's technique. I actually have a chopper, a little mini chopper. I should have put it in that, really. What do you think? Should we use the... Uh, we'll do the old fat. We'll do it the, the traditional way. Okay. So yeah, just like that, and then we're going to pop that into our tomatoes. I've got one more to do. So get all that in there. All right, just going to do the other leaves. Again, roll them up, and then slice. If you can see that, all right, guys. The last time I had basil, fresh basil, was when I was doing Hello Fresh. And they would have it in the pack. Okay, so one more, a bit more. Remember, the the more you chop it, the more flavour and smell comes comes out. Okay, so that is the basil. Get that in there as well. So for those just joining, welcome to our cooking Saturday. I am I was chosen to do appetizers. Well I picked my own out, I didn't know. <laughs> no one else picked it for me, but that was the one that I got from the drawer. 
and uh, today you're going to see six courses. So appetizers, dessert, main, soup, the H, what I can't pronounce that, and salad. I don't think I've, and there's one other. What was the one I missed? Anyway, right, so there's the basil and the tomatoes looking good. Okay, so I'm going to mix. Are we mixing that in or not? No. What we're doing next is we're going to add some minced garlic. Minced garlic to this. So let's grab the garlic. Who loves garlic? So you want three cloves, I believe. Three cloves, yeah, three cloves of garlic. Now what you can do is you can chop them up or if you want to make it a little bit easier, get a garlic press. I like to use a garlic press. So we're going to take some garlic and add it in like so. It's just stopped raining now so I might turn off the light in a minute. I love the smell of garlic. Gonna do this three times in a garlic press. Look at that. Oh yes. Okay. And then the last piece. I love the smell. This is this is perfect. If you if you're stuck for ideas of something to to make. For friends if you've got friends coming around so mix all that in okay it's perfect right then next thing we're going to do is we're going to add a spoonful uh, so we've added the garlic add a spoonful oh one one spoonful to three tablespoons of extra virgin olive oil and then add it to the mixture so we've got some extra virgin olive oil. So does that say three? Three tablespoons, add a spoonful. I can't remember if that was the garlic spoonful. I think it was the, uh, we had three tablespoons of extra virgin olive oil. So let's add that in. And <laughs> I'm just reading my instructions. I'm trying to figure out if it was uh yeah five three three cloves add a spoonful to oh oh uh, i think it means between one to three tablespoons so let's open this up we're going to add it to the mixture so that's one that's two and that's three okay well we need we need the olive oil for the uh for the next part right and mix all that in so this is going to be your nice filling to go on the top oh. now it doesn't say to add any salt and pepper i don't think oh yes it does <laughs> that was my next step right we're going to add one tablespoon of balsamic vinegar balsamic vinegar so i've got i've got some here Sorry, I didn't get this one out. So we're adding one tablespoon of balsamic vinegar. I'm using this one. This is by Aldi. So there we go. In it goes. Just one. One's enough. That's perfect. And again, you're just going to mix all that in. So that is our, oh that smells amazing, oh that smells so good, that smells so good. So if you've ever gone to a restaurant and ordered bruschetta, I can't even say it, uh, but I have ordered it before, then you can make it yourself at home really easy. Right, add some salt, it says, so add yeah, half a teaspoon of salt. And what do you think we need to add next? A quarter teaspoon of pepper. 
not too much. And that's it guys, that is your first filling appetizer. But we're gonna do the, we're now gonna put some uh, bread baguette on. So we're gonna get the, we're gonna get a baguette. Now this is one I've already cooked. Well, I didn't cook it, I went to uh, Morrison's and bought it. So we've got some, a nice baguette here. All right, so I'm gonna cut this in half because I'm not gonna use it all. So we'll say, who likes the end? We'll use a bit of the end. So goes up to there. So we'll cut about here, maybe three quarters of it. Because we're now doing, <laughs> we're doing three appetizers here. Although two of them are pretty much the same. Back to one side. Okay, so we're gonna. Uh, did I? Have... I'm just wondering if I needed onion. No, I don't think that's for the next one. Right, one baguette. We're gonna slice them on a diagonal, and then place them on some parchment and brush both sides of the toast with some olive oil. So let's cut these. We'll start this way, I think. Or do it. Do it this way. So make sure the. I would say about two to three centimetres. I just don't want it to, to break. Do it on a, on a diagonal. Still with me, guys? Yeah. Okay. So we're going to turn these round. In fact, I'll put them on the tray now, and then I'll... I'm going to place them on it because this is going to go into my air fryer. So I'm going to place these on here. I've been looking forward to this all <laughs> all day. I, mean, I went to get the ingredients. Well, I got some baguettes yesterday, but then I saw this one in Morrison's today, and I thought it's going to take me half an hour, and then for the baguettes to cook, because I got them from Aldi. Right, we're going to get a little brush. Get a little brush. I'm going to get some of the extra virgin olive oil. I'm going to put it into a, a little glass. I'm doing it this way, because... Okay, get our brush. And we're just going to brush these. Let me just zoom in for you so you can see. And just going to brush them on each side. So when they go in the air fryer, they're going to toast up really nice. Oh, this smells amazing. And don't be, uh, I don't know if you're on a diet or you're trying to lose weight, and, but. Uh, Olive oil, extra virgin of olive oil, is quite good for you actually. It will make you go. <laughs> oh, this is going to be amazing. But yeah, I've, I've ordered this before as a, as a as a starter. But it smells amazing. I won't need to put any extra on this one. How are we doing guys? You can all hear me. I'll try and read the comments soon. So these are going to go in the air fryer for, oh we actually need to put some uh, parmesan cheese on these as well. I need to turn these over then. So just do the other side as well. Oh this smells so good. Oh. I'm rolling down the down the down the kitchen top. That's it. Just get it get it coated on there. And who's hungry? Put a ten in the comments if you're hungry. What was that, guys? Oh, I didn't put any music on today, guys. I do apologise. I sometimes have some music playing, but 
I'm not the sort of person to always play music because when I upload them somewhere else then I get I get a little message saying you have you have played music which is not allowed in this country so right I've just done them they look amazing oh. all right so I'm gonna get these on the air fryer now so I'm gonna put them if you've got an oven you want to put them on oh we need to put some cheese on it just says top with some cheese so we're going to take some parmesan cheese now parmesan cheese now i've been told to you only need a small amount on these i've never oh that smells so good so we're going to cut a little piece off i'm going to cut a little piece off and then i'm going to grate it on So where's my grater? Here it is. <clears throat> These are very good as well. These little graters here. So I'm going to grate them on each one. So a little bit. It's quite a strong cheese, I've been told. Who likes Parmesan cheese? I'll tell you what though, the price of this cheese has gone up. <laughs> so just put a little bit on each one. And then when these go in the oven or your air fryer, they just smells amazing. You don't want too much. And that's enough. Who thinks I should put more on? So there we have it, guys. Right, I'm going to pop these. Oh, rolling off again. So we're going to pop these in the air fryer for not long. It only needs five minutes. Five minutes and we'll turn them over. So in the go guys, here we go, we're going into the air fry. So let's put this on. So am I grilling them or baking them? What do you think? Let's let's grill them. We'll grill them for five minutes. We'll turn them after after two or three. So let's let's have a little taste of this. Never had parmesan cheese before. Oh, oh, that's delicious. Right then, we're going to do our next appetizer. <coughs> I can see what you mean by it. It's being strong. <coughs> being strong. Wow, it's gone right on my uh, coxical. Is that what they call it? Coxical? Right, quick, quick uh, clean down. And then we'll move on to the next one. So hopefully that was easy enough to follow. Once these are to toasted, then we just put the topping on and we'll do that in just a minute. Because the next ones are really, really easy to make. Right, let me read some of the comments. I'm going to turn you round. And we'll get ready for the next, the next one. So let's turn you round over the mess. And flip. Oh. Sorry guys, flip. There we go. Oh. What's happened to this? I can't move it now for some reason. That's weird. Oh wait, there we go. So there we go. Too strong. It was a little bit strong, Anne. A little bit. Hopefully it's gonna be not too strong. Okay, so. So just to recap then, here is our our mix. Down a bit. So really easy to make. Really easy to make. And then we're gonna I will make these up and we'll try one and then we'll do the next the next uh, appetizer. So is it something that you would go for? Let me know in the comments. Does Bread Brenda go for it? Brochetta? Let me just turn these over. I'm just going to spin you around. Sorry for the mess, guys, behind. Uh, well, they toast up nicely because they do, they do toast up really, really quickly. Yeah, so what we're doing next then, the next one we're going to do is we're going to make... Uh, now, you can make these with little pastries. So I've been told you could do pastries, but we're going to do it for the healthy option. And these are going to be cucumber slices 
with cream cheese, a touch of horseradish sauce, salmon, Bill's here, Bill likes his salmon, and you can use fresh dill but I've got, I'm going to use mixed herbs instead because finding all these herbs and everything can cost a fortune so I thought I'd get some mixed herbs which has dill in it I think but if you want to be really 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 like classy then go for the dill. Let me turn these over, actually no a little bit longer, just a little bit longer. I want you, let's get a plate out, if I can uh, lift up. Oh. I should have got this plate out one second guys. I'm gonna to have to move you just a little bit just so I can get to the a plate to put these on. One minute guys. Oh hey, that's not a bad view is it? So with them doing with them doing three appetizers we'll have three plates. I don't want to burn these so let's on them. Oh look at these guys, look at these. Are you ready? Look at these. Let's flip these over. Where's my tongs? Just look. I'll take that one off. Oh look. Oh, phone's falling over. Oh, phone's falling over. Stay there. Turn these ones over. I'm just going to give it another minute on, the, on, the, on these ones. They smell amazing. So another minute. And flip. Right, let's put the, shut the cupboard. It's manic in this kitchen because <laughs> you know I don't have a lot of space. But trying to just Right, organise. Right, so I'll show you in just a second. We'll just give it another minute. So let me just get out the uh, the next ingredients. So we've got cucumber. Salmon. Now this is called grappa da... Grappa Deluxe salmon with a sweet mustard and dill dressing. So it's got dill in it, so instead of having the dill on the top. So we've got the salmon, cream cheese, although, yeah, I've actually got some cream cheese to use up. I'll use this cream cheese first. I think they might be done, I don't want them to burn. Yep, so I'll let you know how much cream cheese we need in a second. But they look perfect. We've also got some prawns. So we're going to do two different types. One with avocado and prawns. And one with... Oh, mirror the camera. Sorry. Uh, sorry, guys. Mirror. Is that better? So uh, I'll just show you this again. So it's called Gravidlac Salmon with a sweet mustard and dill dressing. Okay, and then we've got some prawns or shrimp. Now we can read it. <laughs> That's good. Um, how are we doing for time? We're all right, are we? And then, as I say, I've got some. I've got some cream cheese. That I'm going to use up first. Right then. Oh, these look good. Let me take these off. Now, would you have yours warm or cold? Let me know. Pop these on here. They smell so good. I love toasted baguette, but they smell so good. Right. So here they are. So I'll spin you round because we're going to plate these up. So let's spin you round. Then we'll do the the next ones. So let's spin you round. You like them warm or cold? Says Darby. Right. Okay, flip the camera. Oh dear. Flip. Hopefully it's the right way this time. Okay, and spin you around. Look at the mess. Okay, that's going to stay. 
So we're going to pop this on the top. Now you could add a balsamic glaze on these if you wanted to. Oops, putting too much. Oh, look at these guys. Maybe the tomato piece are a little bit big, but it doesn't matter. What do we think? What do we think? Oh, wow. I've actually done quite a lot of... Look at that. So if I just put one of these on a plate, I'll show you what it looks like. So we'll go for that one and this one. So that is our first appetizer, guys, of our candlelit dinner. And I'll be back in just a second. So I'm going to try one, of course. So let's come round. Sorry, guys. I'm not the best when it comes to flipping the camera around. But I want to try one whilst it's hot. Come on, tripod. Sometimes it's it doesn't want to play ball. There we go. All right, stay where... Stay, stay, stay. Right, so let's try one of these then. I want to be able to take a picture with with one of these. So we'll get this one. Oh, it smells so good. Add a little bit more on one of these. The other two appetizers are pretty simple. It's just a little bit of work. I need another plate. So here we go then, let's try it guys. I want you all to try your food by the way, so we can all experience it. So rate out of 10. Oh my goodness me, wow. That is gorgeous. That's restaurant quality is that. That is absolutely gorgeous. You've seen me make it with the garlic, the basil, the, the vinegar, the olive oil. Oh, that is delicious. Mm. Would anybody like some? <laughs> that is gorgeous. That is absolutely gorgeous. I'm making this again. Mm. Oh, Darby, that is absolutely gorgeous. Mm. I'm having one more because I like it really nice and warm. Mm. So just one more. And there's loads of filling as well left. This is why I love doing these cooking Saturdays because you, you prepare for it. You think, what am I going to cook? And then when it comes round and you're like waiting to cook and it's like, oh... You haven't, you've never made it before. I just, it's, I never, I've never made it. And I thought, let's give it a try. And I'm definitely making this at Christmas because it's so simple to make. Mm. I'm just going to finish this piece <laughs> and then we'll do the other ones. Mmm. I can see why it's as seen as like a starter because it's quite filling, isn't it? Mm. Can you hear that crunch? So Kirsty says, what's on it? So we've just made it's fresh tomatoes, basil, garlic, balsamic vinegar, and extra virgin olive oil. And I think that was everything, wasn't it? 
I think that was everything. <clears throat> On salt and pepper. Oh my goodness me. Give that a try, guys. Right. Let's move on to the next one. So that was the first appetizer because whenever you come to my dinner parties, you will, uh, you, you don't just get one appetizer, you get quite a few. Do you know, I've actually been asked to go on that program, come, come dine with me. And I said, mm, what do you think? Right then, let's do the next one then. So this is quite an easy, another easy recipe to do. I'll put it on the replay, Kirsty, so you can uh, to what you can watch it. So I'm going to spin you back round and flip. I always can't find the flip button. There we go. Okay, so the next one we're going to do then is some cucumber slices. For this, I'm going to need the uh, plate. Okay, so we're going to get a cucumber. I need to make some room. Gonna make a bit of space, sorry guys. Because I'm gonna need to put the cucumber. So you want a whole cucumber? I'm gonna cut this in half. Let's get our knife. Okay, now I'm gonna cut the end off. That's so I can peel the, all this plastic off. I think we'll use three quarters. Of the cucumber so you as I say you can use like pastry for this let's zoom in a bit I'm gonna make some slices and they do you want to be quite thick slices not thin slices because this is what is gonna be your base Now, if you're going to be making two, in fact, I might need more cucumbers. These will be great for, for like parties as well. So, just going to pop them on here. So, make them quite thick. Okay, like so, a bit zoomed in there. So I'll put that to one side. Let's do some more cucumber actually. Okay, so this is gonna be the one with cheese and salmon. So I think we're good for time. Right, put that in the fridge. Right. Okay, so next thing you're going to do then is we're going to take a some cream cheese and black pepper and you want to add it to a, like a little bowl. Now I don't, yeah, I've only got a, I'm using the other bowl, so let's take this. So you're going to get your cream cheese and you need, how much do you need? Well, as much as you want, basically. So I'm going to use what I've got in here. So you're going to add cream cheese, I need a bit more I think, so I'm going to have to open this second tub. So I would use probably about half a tub, so maybe about 100 grams, again it just depends on how much, how much you want to use. So I'm going to add an extra What's that, 50 grams? Add a bit more. As I say, once you've made this mixture up, you can then have it with maybe crackers or anything you want. You want. Right then, so that's our cream cheese. You want to soften it. That was the thing they said on the, when I was watching this. So just soften it. So it's nice and loose that but enough so it will stick to the cucumber okay we're gonna add some black pepper bit of black pepper we're gonna add some horseradish sauce now it's something I wouldn't normally use horseradish sauce but 
I do have some here. So we're going to add just a spoonful, add that in. That's quite a tangy test taste, isn't it? It's nice though. So mix all that in. Wow. That's powerful. And then we're going to add it to our, now you can use a piping bag, but we're going to add it to our cucumber. Just put a little dab of this on each cucumber. And that's how easy this is, guys. So add it. Oops. As I say, you could use like short, <clears throat> is it short crust pastry maybe, or like pastry cups. This is just a healthy way of. Making an appetizer. And yes, I'm going to sit and eat all these. <laughs> Can you all see that guys? Sorry. If you want to be really fancy, get a piping bag and pipe it on. So what did I say was the other thing we're going to add to this? Okay, that one's not looking too great, but it doesn't matter. It's going to get eaten. Oh, that tastes so good. So next thing we're going to add then is this salmon. So with this sort of salmon, here it is. I'm going to add a piece of salmon to this. A very, very thin layer of salmon. And this has got the dill in there already. But this is very, very thin. I'm just trying to get the piece of salmon off. I think I've got it. So like this, and all we're going to do is just break it up and just add a little bit of salmon, push it down on each one. So it's really simple. I don't know if that's too thick. I think that's the thinnest piece on the in this pack but if you can make it even thinner then perfect what do we think guys i'll give you a close-up in just a second another thin piece of salmon smells so good Wonder if we'll have yeah we should have time to do the other one. A little piece on there, a little piece on there. I'm not the best at tearing salmon actually, but and then a little piece on there. And that's it, that's the second appetizer. That is the second appetizer. So take a look at that guys, what do we think? Oh, thank you Darby. So should we try one? Let's have a little taste. So I'll bring you back round and we're going to flip. Come on phone. So here we go. Here is our salmon cream cheese with horseradish sauce, and yeah. So you, as I say, let's let's give one a try. Here we go. Oh, 
Oh, that's delicious. Mmm. Oh, well, there's one thing I forgot to do. One thing I forgot to do. You could add a few mixed herbs on the top. So if you want to put some herbs on the top, you can do. So there's dill in the salmon, yes. Let me show you the packaging. It's got a sweet mustard and a dill dressing. So I'll just show you, Brenda. It's just round the side of the salmon. So that's the second appetizer. And we're going to do one more, and it's just the filling, it's, that's all it is, it's the same method, but just the different filling on the top. We're going to be making uh, red onion with avocado, lime juice, uh, and the shrimp. So, give that one a try guys, absolutely amazing. So now we do the same thing again. We move that out of the way. And then what I want to do at the end is put some of them on a plate and show you, take a picture of them all. And then I'm going to sit and eat them all. <laughs> That's basically it. So next one then, let's flip you back round. And flip and turn. Whoops, and I'm making you all dizzy. Is that better? And zoom in. So again, same thing, cucumber. I'll use one of the old. I've got another cucumber in here I should have used first. In fact, no, that's dead. <clears throat> we'll try, try the fresh. In fact, we'll use this. You don't have to use a whole cup cucumber. I'm just going to use the rest of the other one. Right, take this plastic off. I might need to do some more. So again, just cut them. Oh, we're good for time. I think so. I think we're good to good for time. Oops, I'm dropping it on the floor. Oh. Two second rule, guys. <laughs> don't don't bite my head off. Right, that's definitely enough, so we're fine. Right, we're going to get an avocado. We're going to get an avocado. These are ripe, right? Oh, these look so good. All right, what are we doing with this avocado? Uh, oh, we need the onion, red onion. Knife again. So we've got the avocado there. Just gonna do this red onion really quickly. Oops. Can use the chopper for this actually. Should save me some time. So we don't need the whole of the onion. So we'll use the vegetable chopper. Take that. I always find the skin on a red onion. It takes ages, doesn't it? To... Oh, I think we're good. We're good with that layer. So I'm going to pop this on here, slice it through. Nice chopped onion. Okay, and then what we're we doing next? Uh, add f if you've got fresh coriander, you can add that. And I need another bowl. In there is a little bit bigger onion, so if you want to make them smaller, then do that. But that, they're actually all right, I think. Um, so add some mixed herbs or coriander. So I do need these. So we're gonna add. I've added a little bit of tomato in there. So add some mixed herbs, like so. I should have said with the bruschetta as well, add a little bit more extra virgin olive oil at the end. 
Okay, and so fresh coriander finally dies. Half an avocado and some lime juice. So let's get the... I'm not the best at cutting avocados. You just cut it in half, don't you? And then turn it. Oh, there we go. Nice avocados. I'm going to get a spoon. So take it out. This is going to be mashed. So just half. Now save your avocado seed because you can make avocado tea with it. So I will make avocado tea in a video later this week. Okay, <laughs> okay. So just chop this, chop this up. I think the onions need to be a little bit smaller. I guess you could do it all in the... in the dish. So what you're going to do is mash it. Let's get a fork. I think we're good for time. I think it's meant to be a bit more uh, loose than this. Are we doing all right guys? Say, do you see this? I've mashed an avocado. Right, and then just mix it in with the onions. So imagine that you've got maybe more. But these are going to break up anyway, so just... <clears throat> so yeah. yeah, just get in there with your hands. <laughs> it's fine. So break them up. It's just that they've all clumped together because it's been in the fridge. So a nice crunchy red onion and avocado. There's a little bit of tomato in there. If you wanted to add that, that's fine as well. So get all that in there. Oh, that tastes amazing. Okay, we've got a few more minutes left, so I think we're good. Last step then. Uh, yeah, you'd add your red onion and your cucumber. Salt and pepper. So a bit of pepper in there. Bit of salt. It's a bit like a guacamole with onions, isn't it? And then lastly, we're going to add it to the cucumbers. So here's our cucumbers here. We're almost done. We just pop these on. Imagine the, uh, you might want to use more avocado actually. But yeah, just pop them on the top. But it's, it's mainly about the filling. So you could serve them on anything really like. But once you've got the filling, it's like a guacamole, isn't it? But as I say, we're going to add. I'm glad actually I didn't get raw shrimp. Because <laughs> I, would, I wouldn't have enough time to cook it. I would have had to have it on in the background. But yeah, it's a bit like a, a guacamole. Right, and then we're going to add, add the prawns or shrimp. Here we go then. Oh, that's not looking too good. So take your prawns and pop them on the top. So yeah, I think I needed a bit more avocado, but... There we go, I'm just going to show you a few of them. Right, let's put them on the plate then. I want to show you. So that's what it looks like, guys. Not the best, but you need to mash them up a little bit more. So I'm going to show you what they all look like now, side by side. So we've got the prawns. We'll do two of the prawns. Two of the salmon with that horseradish cheese sauce. And then lastly, the bruschetta. I'll just, I'd best just to show one of them. And there we have it, guys. Three appetizers. I hope you enjoyed those recipes. Uh, it was a little bit tricky for me to find out which, 
which ones to cook, which ones to do. So I hope you enjoyed that. Let me flip the camera back round. Okay, oops. And flip. So there we have it, guys. I want to try one of these shrimp ones. In fact, I'll try it one off the with a bit more of the avocado and the shrimp. There we go then. So the prawns, avocado and cucumber. There we go. Oh my God. I never thought shrimp, prawns and avocado work well together. Mmm. So give it a try guys. Thank you so much for watching. Up next we've got Anne Rush. I know that there is another thing happening right now, so whatever you decide to do, you can always I hope and you can always play it on the replay, so I'll be watching both. So good luck to everybody taking part today. There's your appetizers guys. Thank you for watching. I'm talking my mouth full, sorry. So we're gonna go over to Anne. I will see you then guys. And don't forget Jay's on at 3 o'clock, not 12 o'clock. So there'll be an hour gap. So I shall see you later, guys. Thanks for watching. And I'll uh, announce the next month's. I think you all know what next month is going to be in the group. So join us then. Bye for now. See you next time. I'm going to have to go and eat this now. Bye, everyone.